emerald ash borer is a gorgeous little insect. It really is. But what it does is not gorgeous. What it does is hideous. There's invaders from other countries. It's really difficult to stop a species that has no natural enemies and has open terrain to feed on all the beautiful trees that we have. At Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore, there are certain spots as you walk through the trails where you can see trees that have been eaten and died, and that's, that's tough to see that. You want to see a healthy forest. You want to see a healthy ecosystem for uh, natural wildlife to thrive. I see a tree that could have lived another 100 years and been in enjoyment for many generations to come. To see it wither and die at such a young age, only 30, 35 years old, is a real sad thing to see. It's amazing how much damage can be done by something so small. See, we can see lots of damage here. Oh yeah, but you can see yep. these uh, feeding galleries where this is where this is where the tree dies. This is the larvae come in here. They feed on this tissue that's right underneath that bar. This particular hole right here is important. It has a mm -hmm. straight line and a D shaped. Now that is the exit hole of the adult. The adult exits in early spring to mate. And the females come down and they crawl along these crevices laying individual eggs. When the eggs hatch, the new hatch bores right into the bark of the tree again and starts the process all over again. And then they move on to healthier trees in the area. I right. kind of look for more trees that are healthy, so that's another problem for the spreading. So this yeah. just tells you how insidious this thing is. It's a tragedy. It truly is. We make 25 to 30,000 ash beds. And the reason why we do ash and birch is because ash has been around since baseball started. Our ash wood comes from primarily Pennsylvania, New York, and West Virginia. The beetle is there, and it could start affecting us at any time. I've heard about it a couple years ago on TV, that it was destroying trees in Chicago, and uh, never really put two and two together. And now this could really affect our business and everybody else's livelihood in the major leagues too. All by a little bug that's chewing up major profit. Emerald ash borer has not spread in this country on its own. It only moves about half a mile a year on its own. Emerald ash borer is kind of a, a devious little insect in that, that it's often carried unknowingly by people who are moving firewood, people who are moving nursery stock, logs. So it is critical that people understand their very important role in spreading this insect. The emerald ash borer really stinks because it's plant specific and it's totally killing ash trees, regardless of where they're at uh, or the type of ash that they are. Biggest thing that would combat the emerald ash borer and prevent its movement is burning firewood where you buy it. Not taking <laughs> firewood with you, but uh, wherever you're camping, pick up firewood there. <laughs>